Hello my friends, welcome to my rapid review on the Too Faced Chocolate Brownie Eyebrow Pencil. Yes, no one's talking about this, and I don't know why. Welcome to my rapid review. This is going to be a very detailed review in five minutes or less. I don't know why no one is talking about this brow pencil. It was kind of the, the hidden gem of the new Too Faced spring launch. I'll tell you right now, I really like this, but now I need to tell you why I like it. But before I tell you why I like it, I need to give you the ingredient details. So first of all, Too Faced does claim to be a cruelty-free company, but they were bought by Estee Lauder, which is not cruelty-free. So depending on your level of cruelty-freeness, you may say Too Faced is or isn't cruelty free. This is not a vegan product. It does contain beeswax and it is made in the United States. It's currently available at Too Faced.com, Ulta.com, Macy's.com, and also HSN.com with FlexPay. It comes in four shades, taupe, soft brown, deep brown, and auburn, and it'll run you $23. You do get 0.01 ounces of product, which equals 0.28 grams, which equals out to $82 per gram, which is very in expensive per gram for a brow product. The only other brow product that competes with this is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil that I also did a review on. This one is $1 more expensive, so it is just a little bit more expensive price per gram. The Goof Proof does have six shades, while this one only has four, but the Too Faced has an auburn shade where the Goof Proof does not. Goof Proof has a darker shade than this, but it also has a lighter shade for more blonde hair so that may make you choose one or the other they're very similar as far as their format in that they have slanted tips this one is more of a teardrop shape the benefit and the Too Faced is more of a straight line I'm gonna go ahead and show you some swatch comparisons right now of the different brands of brow pencil that I currently own both high-end and drugstore and you'll be able to see the slanted tip on the Too Faced one and how that applies I personally I really like a thicker tip because I feel like I could get into my thicker brows but if you have thinner brows you may want to opt for something like the Anastasia Brow Wiz or the L'Oreal Brow Definer because it has a sharper tip. The Too Faced is one of the cooler toned of the ones that I own. It's closer to the L'Oreal Brow Definer but the L'Oreal Brow Definer is a little more black looking but it is cooler toned compared to the other brow products that I own so if that's attractive to you then you may want to get the Too Faced Brownie. As far as ingredients go for this product, there are two ingredients that are allergens for some people. One of them is called benzyl alcohol, and it is a solvent and a preservative, and also benzyl benzenate, which is anti an antimicrobial. So those are both allergens to some people. It does have a strong chocolate scent. The first source is something called ethyl vanillin, which is actually derived from vanilla. It's kind of a cheaper vanilla kind of flavoring. They also use it in foods. It does have artificial fragrance in it, so if you don't like like artificial fragrance, you're not going to like this, but it also has both cocoa powder and cocoa butter in this product, and it really does have that strong, typical Too Faced chocolate scent that you will find in the Chocolate Bar Palette and also in the Chocolate Soleil Bronzers. And it smells really good to me, but if you don't like chocolate scent, you will not like it. I can't smell it once it's on my brows, but when I open it up and I'm applying it, I can definitely smell it. I do feel like the scent is starting to fade the longer that I own the product. When I first got it, it was very strong, and now you can still smell it, but it's definitely not as strong. So as far as performance of this brow product, it works just as well as all of my other favorite Favorites. I have so many favorite brow products because I don't really need a brow product to do that much. I don't want it to be sticky. I don't want it to be heavy. I don't want to have to scrub on my eyebrow in order to make it work. And I have lots of products that do that for me. And this one is no different. Performs very, very well. But it is definitely not for someone that wants a thin brow look. I do have trouble getting it to give me that really sharp edge of my brow on the outside uh, because it doesn't have a taper like the Benefit one does so that's kind of my only critique as far as the way that it comes out but I do really like it it stays on all day long I have no problems with it smudging or smearing after the product sets if you want Instagram brows this may not be the product for you because it's not super opaque but if you like a more natural brow like I do this is definitely something you might want to consider so I want to thank you so much for watching this rapid review I hope you enjoyed it if you did definitely make sure you subscribe for more rapid reviews and longer reviews and other kinds of reviews and makeup news and all kinds of stuff and I want to thank you again so much for watching. Mad love, and I'll see you in a video soon. Bye!